Happy video day guys, Christina Brooke here. Today we are going to be diving into some drugstore makeup and I'm gonna be finding for you guys some gems at the drugstore. So I actually got an awesome PR package from e.l.f. just recently. They sent me a bunch of new items that just launched from their brand and a lot of them were very interesting because I had never seen products like this from e.l.f. We've got some really cool triangular lip liners, a brow freeze that may be reminiscent of the new Anastasia one, some lip stains, a setting mist, a new gripping primer. We've got a lot to play with. So in this video, I'm gonna be trying out all of these brand new releases and telling you guys which ones are my favorites and which ones I think maybe you should skip on. So if you're interested in that, then just keep watching. But of course, don't forget to go ahead and hit subscribe and join the family. Let's go ahead and let's jump into it right now. All right, so we're gonna try out a lot of new stuff from e.l.f. I really am so interested in some of this stuff. Like there is so much to go over. I have everything on my skin today, so I already know the results. But I will be sharing with you guys all that information at the end of the video so just stay tuned so I have the three new triangular lip liners we've got their glossy lip stains there's three different colors the new brow freeze also this really cool sponge and a gripping primer and a setting mist so we've got all of this stuff to put on my skin today like I found a huge winner here like something that's just like incredible and a lot of stuff to share so let's go ahead and let's zoom in I'll show you guys me applying every single thing and then I'll tell you guys my results. All right guys, so we are zoomed in. We're gonna be trying out some brand new products from e.l.f. So I'm actually pretty excited. There's a bunch of bunch of stuff here. Like I feel like they did such a cool little launch and I'm excited to put some of this stuff on the face. We have a power grip primer for $10. We have the brow lift, $6. We also have the applicator for it, the brow product, which is $4. The glossy lip stains, which I can't wait to try that are $6. We have the love triangle lip filler liners for four dollars the stay all day blue light micro fine setting mist for ten dollars and their new angled silicone face sponge so let's start off the video with the first thing we're gonna go ahead and try the power grip primer so actually I've actually seen a few people talk about this and apparently when it goes on it really grips the skin like so I'm interested in seeing how this works so we're gonna go ahead and just put a little bit on the fingers we go so that is a very gel like consistency oh it feels kind of thick too this kind of feels like glue huh this feels like glue <laughs> wow oh gosh okay this is very grippy so definitely if you're somebody who likes like those products that feel very very grippy like they're really going to adhere to the skin, then this is for you. But yeah, this feels super, super grippy. So that could be a good thing or that could be annoying. <laughs> so I guess you just have to spread it on the skin pretty quickly and hopefully that does a good job. So it doesn't have any claims of blurring or anything like that, but it says apply evenly on the face before makeup using the fingertips to pat into the skin. So I'm assuming that this primer based off of the feel is probably more for longevity of your makeup and also so that the makeup just adheres to the skin a little bit better and it's very, very nice and grippy, but I don't think it's gonna do anything for like blurring or anything like that. At least I don't think so. We'll see, We've gotta throw on some foundation. Give me one second. All right, so for foundation, I am going ahead and I'm already putting on my Charlotte Tilbury. So this is the new Beautiful Skin Foundation, which FYI, guys, I found my color match in 6N. And I'm just applying it with the new sponge that came inside of this PR kit. And this sponge is actually called the Angled Silicone Face Sponge. And I have to say, I like this sponge because I love the angle. Look at that, how I can get like right underneath the eyes and like under the lip. When I use some of those other sponges, our skin, our face, doesn't have like the curvature of the sponges but like this one even indents so it almost feels like it goes perfectly into the indentations of my face which helps me to really feel like I'm applying this a little bit better so I actually think that I might love this sponge this might be a huge winner I think I like this sponge a lot it's also very 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 soft I did put um, a little bit of water on it so it is a wet sponge Typically, it's better to use your sponges wet in order to allow them to move better. And this has a really soft feel, but in the wet, it feels even softer. And I think I love this sponge. Yeah. 
I think the sponge is a winner. I actually think that I might actually even like this sponge for the under eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this for some concealer because I think that this might be such a good angle to really get in there in your under eyes and be able to apply it. Because look at this cool little flat edge that it has. I think that this is a very good sponge, guys. I like this sponge. I actually like this sponge better than the Beauty Blenders. It's a $6 sponge, guys. This is a great sponge for six bucks. And I love the curvature. So this is definitely going to be linked down below. I highly recommend this sponge to you guys. It's very soft. I love the angle. I love that it has this dent in it so it goes right on your skin. I don't know, it feels like a great sponge. You wanna see how it works with putting on some cream bronzer. So I'm gonna use my Rare Beauty Cream Bronzer, which I actually kind of like to use it with a brush, not a sponge, but I kind of wanna see if this sponge will help me apply it with a sponge better, because I feel like all my other sponges don't work good with it. And yeah, I mean, look, it blended it out really good. I'm thinking that this is a really good sponge, guys. Wow, I found a gem at the drugstore right now. I feel like this is a fantastic sponge. Let me finish off this makeup and then let's move on to the brows. One second. All right, so I just finished up my eye makeup using the new Huda Beauty Lunar um, Tiger Obsessions palette. And now I'm going to do the brows. So this is a brow gel and these are super popular and I've actually always wanted to buy one of these. Oh my goodness, can I get it out of here? Pulled it out of the PR case. Wow, that was very hard. But anyways, we're gonna play with these two products. So it's these two. So this is the little spatula slash um, applicator, and this is the brow lift. So I'm interested in this. It's like one of those clear brow gels like that. Looks like there's nothing in there. Is there anything in there? Yeah, there is. Oh, it's just clear. That is so cool. So I'm assuming this is gonna be like the Anastasia Brow Freeze, only like the half the price one. And then I like this applicator because it has like this little spatula that you could probably use to apply other products. And then you've got this, right? So I guess you could do this different ways. You can put the product on here with the spatula or you could just like go straight in. I'm gonna go straight in. So let's just grab some of this. <laughs> Why am I nervous? I don't know, I think I'm a little nervous. And let's just put it on this brow here. So this is to give you that like feathered brow look that's so in now that you see all the influencers doing. And I kind of think it's cool. Sometimes I get a little scared of it, but you know, why not? I guess you can use it just to like make your brows stay in place too, but I think it's mostly to do this like feathery look. And actually, I think that's working. I mean, I only dumped in I only dunked in there one time and I'm getting some feathery looking brows. Cool, I think it worked. Look at my brows, do they look more feathery? I think they do. I mean, I guess you can put more and more product on it if you want and like really freeze it, you know? But I think I'm doing this right and I think it worked. Like I feel like it has a little bit more featheriness than this one. I think it works. Now the interesting thing with these type of products is I used one before, who was the brand? I think it was Glossier or something and it started to irritate my brows. Like I started feeling that irritate my skin. So I'm interested to see if this one does. We'll see, that'll take a few minutes. So we'll see by the time I'm done with this video if I feel irritated or not, but I think it works. I guess you could put more and more and freeze them even more, but that's cool and I like this. I like this little spatula slash spoolie. Huh, that's an interesting little product. I don't know if it's as good as the Anastasia one because I know some people say the Anastasia one's amazing, but this seems pretty good, right? You guys see the difference? This one, the brows are sticking up. This one's not. A little bit more manicured, a little bit not. All right, so I went ahead and added a little bit more, did the other brow, and I really think that this product works really good. I mean, I don't know. I don't have the Anastasia one, but this might be a dupe for it. You guys let me know if you have this one and you have the Anastasia one, if this is a dupe for it, but that looks really, really good and they're very frozen in place, and I feel like I was really able to manipulate the brows. I wonder if you're supposed to wash this spoolie every time you use it, because I'm assuming that this could get a little hard, but I like that. I think that's a really, really good product. So both of those, thumbs up. All right, Elf, you've got me onto a good start. So now let's play with something I'm very excited for. These are the lip liners. So these are the angled lip liners, and we have three of them. This one is called Mauve Light. So that color right there is Mauve Light. So then that one is soft pink rose. And the last one's really neat. It's called light brown, which is total 90s vibes. So I think what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go with a light brown. Why not? 
Let's try the brown one. Okay, so I really like the angle. It's really allowing you to kind of like follow the lip line. So these are lip filler liners. So I guess you could like fill the whole lip with it, you know? That's why they're so thick. So it's probably so that you could fill up the whole lip. It's not just a liner. All right, so I went ahead and filled the whole lip up with this liner. That's a really cool color. So this is the light brown one. Now that we've done the lip liner, I actually like these lip liners. They feel like they went on pretty good. Um, the only thing is, I do feel like they're more like a filler lip liner. They don't feel like super pigmented, like to do a really deep line. Like they filled the lips really nice, but I don't think they're meant to like just line the lips, if you know what I mean. They're more like fillers, like they say. So I finally got them out. So this is what they look like. So these are really, really pretty. I like them. They're like nice little lacquer packaging with the little peekaboo of the color. So these are called glossy lip stains. So I guess they're supposed to stain the lip. Um, we'll go ahead and swatch them and pick the perfect color. So the first one that we have here is Basic Beige. Next one here is called Pinkies Up. And it's actually a lot more pink. Even though I don't know any of these look like it would match 100% with this lipstick, but I guess we'll just have to play. So that last one there is called Power Mauve. Very, very cool. I almost feel like Pinkies Up is the most cool tone one that'll probably go the best with this lip color. So we're gonna go ahead and put this lip stain on top. Almost reminds me of like a lip gloss though. It feels really nice. And actually on top of this lip liner, they mesh well. Little, little slight taste there. It's kind of like a gloss though. Is it really a stain? I wonder if this really is gonna stain or if it's more just like a gloss. Like I think it's like a gloss. A gloss with a little bit more pigment to it than your typical gloss. But I like the way that Pinkies Up goes with the color that I put on, which is light brown. This is a really nice combo. It's a little bit more cool tone, but it kind of died down the brown a little bit. So that's really pretty. Matches the eye look really, really good. All right, so we've come to the last product in here, which is the Stay All Day Blue Light Micro Setting Mist. So this is supposed to be a long lasting setting mist, which I have a feeling that most of this is about longevity, right? Because we've got lip stains, we've got um, the brow freeze, which is like stick in place. Then we've got um, the grip primer, which is mostly I think for longevity. So I'm gonna shake this. And then we'll go ahead and spray this mist. Let's see what it looks like first before I... It's okay. Spray it one time away from you and then spray it at your face because it does look, it drips a little bit. So. It's a fine mist though. It really is a fine mist after it comes out one time. So lock down your look with this lightweight makeup setting spray that absorbs blue light infused with skin loving aloe. So that is really, really neat. So there we go. I used every single thing on my skin. I will say that the mist, I mean, it didn't really do too much like to the look of the skin, but this is supposed to be long lasting. So yeah, this is the final look using all these brand new products from e.l.f. There's such a huge storm outside right now. <laughs> but anyways, guys, so I went ahead and I applied everything. What did you guys think? I think you guys know what I'm going to say. This right here is probably my favorite thing. I love this sponge. I love the angle on it. I love the sharp edges. I also love that on the bottom, it's more like a regular beauty blender. You've got like literally all of the different angles you can actually want on a sponge. I think this is amazing. I love Love, love, love this brow. I also think that this brow lift, brow freeze, whatever they're called, but this is called the brow lift. These are, this one's so cool. I really like this. I think it did a really good job and especially for the price tag, this is an awesome product. So if you wanted to dabble in playing with doing one of these feathery brow looks and you don't wanna spend the money on a very expensive brand just yet, Buy this and try it out for a while, see if you like it, and then if you wanna invest in something more, go for it, or you might just like this forever, because I think I would never buy the other one, I would just keep using this. I think that's a really, really, really good product. Then my next favorite thing on here are these lip stains. I think they're so pretty. I love the glossiness that it does. I do not think that this is actually going to stain too much, because like I've had them here on my on my hand, and if you guys can see, I'm just gonna kind of wipe it. It stains a little bit, so definitely it's going to stain a little bit, but it's not like an extreme stain, 
but does stain a little bit and mostly what you do is get that really pretty gloss effect and it gives you a little tint so if you're interested in something like that I think this could be a really good like spring summer product you're going to the beach or you're going somewhere like that and you want your lips to get a little stained throughout the day because you don't want to have to keep reapplying something these are really good and I really like them um, then the okay products in my opinion the lip liners they're good but they're more of like a filler like I don't really think that just to line the lips that they're pigmented enough they do an e it does a decent job but I feel like I want to play with this product a little bit more in my opinion it's more like a filler crayon that you put a product on top the gripping primer in my opinion is okay I don't really love this product and that's just because I personally am not somebody who looks for primers to really add that longevity to my um, makeup. I know that maybe if I was going to events and stuff, something like this would, might be something more important, but like right now for me, I'm more into like a blurring primer. It gives me a more moisturized feel. That's just what I'm looking for right now. So a gripping primer is not something I want at the moment. This does feel like glue, so it sticks. Like, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Hopefully my skin is okay with it, but it definitely feels like glue and you gotta move fast with it. I guess as we start venturing out and going places and events start happening, and maybe I wanna really try out something that really is gonna make my makeup stick longer, this could be good. But like, I don't know, I just don't like that whole grippiness. I like more of like the smooth primers that kind of like smooth on the skin, kind of like the Rare Beauty one. I like those kind of primers. So that's preference. And then finally, this Stay All Day Blue Light Micro Setting Mist. I love the mist on it. I think it had an awesome mist. I don't know if it's gonna last long throughout the day. That's gonna be something that I'm gonna have to try for a longer period of time to tell you if it does anything. So like right now I can't even tell you if it does, but I think the mist was really nice. And if it does have the long staying power that most of these setting mists have, it's nice. So I think that this was pretty good. There was some awesome things I found and I definitely would say, guys, this is such a good sponge. Like this is so good. So I'm happy that I tried all of these products on camera for you guys today. Found some winners and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you want me to do more videos like this one that ventures a little bit into the drugstore to find some good products for you, especially since I mostly do higher end products, let me know that down below because you know I'm going to be pretty picky because I like my high end makeup. So anyways, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.